Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to write the statistics function standard deviation for sample data. Let's do this. Let us write standard deviation in Python. We're going to import math. Then we're going to say define a function. I'm calling this std dev standard deviation. We have two inputs. We have a list and then a count is the number of elements in list. And then notice we have four steps. I like to call them four baby steps. So the first step is I'm just going to find the average. Notice here I'm just looping over L. L is a list. I initialize sum to zero, keep adding them up, and then divide them by count. That's the average. Step one's done, you guys. Step two. Now for each number, we're going to take that number and we're going to subtract the average, and then we're going to square it. So once again, I'm going to initialize my sum of squares to zero. I'm going to do the math. Then guess what? Step two is done. Now step three is, you see that sum of squares? I'm going to divide that by count minus one. Now why did we do count minus one? Well, here's the key word. When I looked at all the data that's available, I took a sample of it. I didn't take it all. In fact, I don't even think all of the data is available. So we're going to be using a sample. And when we say sample, guess what we have to do? We have to say count minus one. So that's going to give us our variance. So the sum of the squares divided by count minus one is the variance. Now once we get the variance, we can go to step four. We're almost done. Then we're going to take the square root of that variance, and that's going to give us the standard deviation for a sample. Now remember, to use math.square root, we have to import math. Let's run this and see how this works. Now notice over here, I have an arrow button that says run code. Where did that come from? When you come into visual code, notice it down here it says extensions. Extensions will then show you this search bar. I typed in code run and notice code runner comes in. Get this installed immediately. If you want that run button, you got to get this installed. So here's the program. I'm building a list and these numbers are temperatures from the state of Florida for 53 years. Let me show you how I got that data. I went out to this website and then I said Orlando, Florida. I picked my date range and then I said download file that created a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. I loaded it up. Inside of the documentation on that website, they said some of the values are missing and they put negative nine and nine in there. So I removed all that bad data. And then that left us with 19,263 rows. I then opened up VBA and I wrote a small script to loop over that data. Column two was the month. Column three was the day. So for all of that data for February the 2nd, for 53 years, I produced this list of data. I then took this list of data and I built this list in Python. So now you know where my data comes from. I then say C equals the length of L, L is a list, and then I'm gonna use my function, standard dev. Notice I have my inputs, I have L, my list, and C is my length. And then notice the return value of this function. I'm getting back two values. I'm getting back the average and the standard deviation. Let's look at that and see how I did that. I said return AVG comma S from that function. That's pretty sweet. And then I'm going to show that to you on the screen. And then I kind of wrote this same program in Pandas, and I'm going to show you how they uh, solve this problem. Let's do this. I hit the Run button, and it told me that my average is 63.82, and my standard deviation is 7.62. And notice when I ran this using another editor called Jupyter Labs, I used the pandas object, a data frame, and then I came down there. Look at my mean, 63.82, 63.82. What was my standard deviation? 7.62, 7.62. So we were able to write the standard deviation function in Python and produce the answer. And there you have it, team. Standard deviation, Python programming. As you saw, Big problems can be broken down into small problems, and this problem just had four simple steps. And then I was done. I then tested this routine several times, and then I tested it up against a bigger app, Pandas. They have a standard deviation generator, and I was able to get the same value. So I knew I was sitting on a winner, so this is good code. Now we're done. 
and I appreciate you supporting my channel, you know, coming here and watching these videos and leaving comments and thumbs up and subscribing. Truly appreciate that. But this video is done. And guess what? I'll see you back in my next video. Have a great week.